Hi there, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining me. I am out and about and I'm at Spurn Point and I've come here to have a look around and to try out the high resolution setting on the G9. <laughs> a grey old day at Spurn Point. I remember coming here probably about 40 years ago sea fishing with my mate and I had a rare old time. I even caught a shark off this coast and I was well impressed I tell you. Even though it was just a little dogfish I thought it was a shark. like and please subscribe. I've got a shot of the posts in the background, hopefully they'll come out nice, maybe a little bit of smooth water, but you know me I don't do creaminess. And I'm going to get a bit closer and get the wide angle on and see what that looks like. And I've got a high res shot of it as well. So the uh, Lumix G9 high res image is 80 megabytes of JPEG images, a series of JPEG images that are shot and then turned into one image and that's 80 megabytes and we'll see how that looks. I've shot a few of them and hopefully they'll look nice, they'll look a bit tasty. But anyway, it's just a little comparison of the high res image system with the normal res and see what it looks like see if there's any difference in sharpness or colour hopefully there is hopefully for the better but anyway we'll see what we will see <laughs> Tide is well and truly out. Spurn Point's primarily a nature reserve and quite a bit of a bird sanctuary so today there seems to be a lot of birders about there's some rare red breasted wobble bottom bird around I don't know where it is and I've not seen it and someone asked me and I said no love sorry I'm just doing landscapes enjoy yourself but anyway each to their own hobby I used to have a mate at work who used to carry a bleep on him back in the day and he'd get bleeped and he'd go off from work and chase off some yellow cheat muffin bird or something, I don't know, whatever. There's so much stuff here at Spurn Point to, to photograph, it's impossible. I've been here about two and a half hours so far and I've not done it justice at all. And I've probably got to go soon anyway. But this is fantastic. And you know, I don't think there can be any better feeling than being out by yourself with the camera in your hand as long as it's not photographing women from the backyard, you know, as long as you're out and about photographing nature or photographing landscapes or whatever, it's just a great feeling and I love it. I love being out and I love being by myself and maybe that just means I'm a miserable twat, but you know, I'm sorry. But anyway, this has just been fantastic. I've got a little variable ND filter on the front of the video camera 
hopefully help with that glare a little bit I hope it's a bit better and it seems fantastic it were only 15 quid so I'm not expecting too much from it as long as it keeps the glare off it'll be awesome thanks everybody for watching my videos I love everyone that does that takes the time to watch them I think it's fantastic and I am overwhelmed but let's subscribe let's get subscribing and let's build this channel up and let's take don't ever be afraid to go out somewhere new I've not been in to Sperm Point before with the camera it's this peninsula that pokes out into the Humber estuary and it's just filled with stuff that you'd want to photograph I just love it the tide's out today because I couldn't get up at 2 o'clock and come here for the half 4 tide that would just be crazy I had a busy day at work yesterday and I was just tired anyway so and I even thought about not coming out this morning and not coming to Sperm Point and I'm so glad that I did because it's just fantastic I just love it I'm loving my new tripod my k &F concept 60 quid banger it's fantastic it really is a good day I've really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy this video so as you can see this is my next video on from Wyoming Brook and I didn't make it to Wales but I have made it to Sperm Point and I'm so happy I'm here it's just beautiful it's a bit bright now the sun's out and it's probably time to go home but this is just wonderful there's plenty of car parking here there's plenty of car parking here there's even a visitor center with toilets but they're locked when it's shut but about 200 yards back up the road in Kilnsea there are public toilets and they seem to be open all the time and I tell you they're a godsend when you've been driving two hours to get here thank you whoever looks after public toilets it's just fantastic <laughs> So, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee and get off. I haven't quite got down to the lighthouse, which is an error on my part, but I've got a couple of images of it along the shoreline. I hope they look all right. I've just, I've really got to be somewhere soon. I really don't have time today to do that. And next time I come, and there will be a next time, I will go straight down to that end and see what there is to see and hopefully there'll be a bit more watering and I can time it better with a high tide but anyway this has been a blast and I love it and thank you once again for joining me on this journey <laughs>